Breaking news of George Cambosis finally making weight last minute. After initially missing weight by 0.36 pounds in his own country for undisputed. I mean, if you're not going to make weight for the biggest fight of your career, then when the heck are you going to make weight? Especially when you factor in that Cambosis have been training for six months for this fight, only to miss weight. Maybe if George Cambosis focused on making weight, and spent time making weight instead of spending time talking too freaking much contradicting himself the entire time then without a doubt he would have made weight the first time i'm starting to believe what Combosis said in the past was really true no, no, no. see these yeah, belts are curse these belts i'm responsible yeah these belts are your curse these are your curse they're you your curse it, because bro. look at the people around you got those belts are cursed that's what he told Tio from a Lopez. But apparently, that's what he should have been telling himself in the mirror. George Combosis, a fighter that had made it very clear that he have no trouble making 135 pounds. In fact, he was clowning Tio from a Lopez for having trouble making the weight. All of a sudden, Combosis missed weight today, where he weighted 135.36 pounds, where he was 0.36 pounds overweight initially. On the other hand, Devin Haney, who traveled across the world, he made the weight without any problem, like a true professional. So that was definitely unprofessional by Combosis to miss weight in his own country. However, can you really blame him? Because Combosis didn't miss weight on purpose. Combosis missed weight because he's nervous that Devin Haney's gonna whoop him in front of his own countrymen. I'm telling you guys, Combosis Diva demands backfired on him because now Devin Haney is going to whoop Combosis in his own country twice to become the undisputed dream. Nevertheless, Combosis was given two hours to make the weight and he actually did. Credit to Combosis, he actually spent that time making the weight and he did. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fight on our hands for the undisputed Super Bowl bout of the lightweight division with that being stated drop your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of aki aki ak tv peace and i'm on to the next one Yes, uh, this is Muhammad Mubarak. I'm with the Electronic Urban Report, EURweb.com. My question is for both fighters. First, Devin, I want to uh, <clears throat> bring up a boxing history piece. In December of 1908, an uh, African-American by the name of Jack Johnson came over here and fought for the world title against all odds. And he left with the title, came back to America victorious, and they had a parade and everything. What would this fight mean to you to repeat history in boxing? Did he fought in Australia? Sydney, Australia. But, Russ but, Curtis Bay. Yeah, it happened before and it'll, and it'll happen again. History repeats itself, and uh, I'll show you on Sunday. This will this will be uh, this will be huge. This will be everything, and um, you know we might have a parade back back in uh, in the states after.